Hi, this is Samantha, and today I'm going to show you how to live caption your lessons using the CapaFlow Speech Translator extension. It's important to note that this extension may not be appropriate for all students, but can help in certain circumstances. So the first thing that we're going to do is install the CapaFlow Speech Translator extension by navigating to the Chrome Web Store. And then we are going to search for the CapaFlow Speech Translator. And once you see it in the Chrome Web Store, I'm going to click on it and click Add to Chrome. And I'll click Add Extension. Our next step is to set up the CapaFlow Speech Translator. So we're going to navigate to the extensions icon on the toolbar. And I like to pin it so that it's easily accessible. And now that it's pinned, I'm going to click on it right here. We're going to ensure that our speech language is set to English. Then we're going to choose our language to translate to. So maybe you notice there are a whole lot of languages here. Maybe I have a student who speaks Spanish. So I'll scroll to Spanish. Then I'm going to want to set up how the translations appear on my screen. So I'll choose the easel icon. And I'm going to change the following options. I'm going to set my text size to very large. Then I'll choose more options. I'm going to ask it to center text and I'll select overlay mode. Then I want to scroll down and look at the colors. So in the text style box, I want the text to be a certain color. So I'm going to use the, the hex code F8, F7, F6. In my background style, I'm going to change the background to black by just clicking down in the bottom right corner. And then I want to make sure that the text shadow box is checked. Then I want to go back up to the top and select configuration. Under displaying, I'm going to uncheck show the transcript. I'm going to make sure show the translated text is checked. I want to prioritize the listen in pop up. I'm going to click the box beside dark mode and show the start stop listening button in the context menu. Once I've done that, I'm going to click save. Now that that's done, I'm going to test it out. So if I were going to be teaching a lesson, I'm going to open up the Google Slides lesson that I'm going to teach. I'm going to select the CapaFlow speech translator and notice that my speech language is English and my translate language is Spanish. And I'm going to tell it to start listening. So right now it's in full screen, which is okay if I don't want anything else to be up on my board for students to look at. Notice that it is translating. However, I'm going to play with it just a little bit so that students can see my content on the board and the translated text. So I'm going to just move my cursor up to the top and minimize this window. Here, you may need to drag the handles a little bit to put it where you want to go. Once it's minimized, I can go ahead and pull up my content. So for right now, I'll click on a Google slide. Notice that it looks a little clunky. If I were to put this into typical present view, the Google slide would take up the entire screen, making the speech translator disappear. So what I'll do is besides slideshow, I am going to click presentation display modes and I'm going to select presenter view and start slideshow. And then I'll just close out the notes right here. And this will make it so that 
my slides are now showing very cleanly and then I've also got my translation on the bottom. When I'm done using the speech translator, I can simply click the extension and tell it to stop listening. And as you can see, it goes away. And then the next time I wanna use it again, I'll just click the extension and tell it to start listening and it should show up right back at the bottom of the screen. To make the speech translator dialog box go away, I can just click off of it. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please like and subscribe for more content from Dear Dis.